Hi everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Ask the Team. I'm Marcel from Longboard Rund. We're here in the premises of our friends Shield Security Services in the UK. And I'm joined by Patrice, our good friend and lead trainer in first aid and the owner and founder of Solution Trauma in Belgium. Welcome Patrice. Hello Marcel, Thank you. thanks for having me on your show. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, we've had a question in one of our last episodes with uh, uh, Tim presenting what he carries in his grab bag. Joshua, one of our viewers, asked uh, about first aid kits. Right. Um, he is about to deploy to a uh, disrupted environment. Okay. And uh, his question was, what kind of first aid kit should he carry with him? He's not very comfortable in picking up one off the shelf. So right. he would like to know what kind of uh, first aid kit he could take with him. All right, well, it's a very good question. And uh, as I said before in previous episode, it's all going to depend. It's going to depend um, on where you're going to go, the resources that you're going to have at that time over there, uh, the money you want to put in it as well. So um, I would recommend the minimum would be uh, an IFAC that you can wear on yourself to um, be able to uh, take care of a casualty in the first moment. Maybe you have uh, a bit more resources in your grab bag, if possible, if you have the, the opportunity to have more resources. And uh, that's a good start, I think. So you recommend to carry two types uh, of first aid kits? With yeah, you? I would have like the life threatening emergencies maybe on, on myself, if possible. A bit more resources for the life threatening emergency or the trauma part as well in my bag, as well as a, a, a first aid kit for uh, cuts and bruises and right. maybe uh, a few drugs. So I see you carrying a first aid kit on you all the time, as you yep. mentioned, no matter where you are. Yep. Uh, uh, what do you have in there? What do you normally carry then? Well, I, I usually, when I'm in an isolated area or disrupted environment, what I try, the, the, try to have on me uh, is the minimum necessary uh, to, be, to treat someone on a life-threatening emergency, which are uh, going to be like massive bleeding or catastrophic bleeding. Uh, it's going to be like open the airways and keep them open, uh, take care of respiration, something for the hypothermia as well. Right. I'd like to try to have that on me uh, at all time. The thing is, uh, to be able to carry a first aid kit on yourself at all time, it has to be not too bulky. It has mm -hmm. to be really compact as compact as possible. Because if you if it's not comfortable to wear on yourself, what's going to happen is going to you're going to leave it in your car or maybe far away in your grab bag if you don't have it on you. Right. So I, I'd like when I'm uh, in this type of environment to have like tools that can be used for different uh, reasons. For example, I always have like at least I have like a, a, a first aid kit, but not as but not bigger than this. I think that's okay. the maximum size or maximum like this. Something really uh, small that can fit snugly on my on my belt that I can carry at all time uh, uh, on me. What I would have in there is something to stop the massive or critical bleeding. What do I need is something to uh, do a direct pressure, maybe uh, uh, maybe a tourniquet mm -hmm. as well. So in this ones, I always try to carry those two types of uh, 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 medical devices. You have the Swati tourniquet which is a very uh, uh, useful and very practical secondary uh, uh, tourniquet and something to pack a wound if necessary. Uh, it's like to do a, a wound packing. So what do you mean actually in, in packing a wound then? Well, if you have like a, in the first in the first means, I, won't, I, will, I will try to stop the massive bleeding with a direct pressure. Okay. If it doesn't work, I'm going to use a tourniquet. But in some other places, what we call the junctional areas, mm -hmm. we might have to pack the wound because it's not uh, uh, amenable with a tourniquet. All right. And so the first aid kit that you show us, those, do, you, do you have like different first aid kits for different environments? Here now in the UK, would you carry a different first aid kit than you would carry on your body uh, 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 if you were in Congo or somewhere else? Okay, it's a very good question. What I'm going to have on my belt, I'm going to try to always have the same. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have the tools that I use during training because that's our, uh, uh, as well a very important point. Is It's important to have equipment that you have used before on training. It's really important to know what you have to do, know how to do it, and have the equipment that is appropriate to what you've learned during training. Right, so so that, that minimum kind of kit, I will try to always have it on me at all time, 
no matter where I'm going to go. If it's here in Europe or uh, uh, in an uh, isolated or disrupted environment, I'm going to always try to have the same on me. Maybe in my grab bag, I might adapt the, the content of uh, my uh, trauma uh, first aid kit as well. Depending on where you go then. Exactly, depending on where I'm going. What I'm going to try to have as well all the time is for cuts and bruises. Mm -hmm. And that, the content of that, I'm going to adapt it to where I'm going for sure. And finally, to reassure Joshua uh, on his decision not to take an off-the-shelf uh, first aid kit, but to look at something that's a little bit more bespoke as, as we have discussed over here. Why, why would you recommend to have a more... A more dedicated first aid kit than just go and picking one up in uh, off the shelf because those ones those those tools are really meant to be used in a difficult uh, environment because they were basically produced by the military and uh, and it's meant to be used in a, a disrupted environment what is really crucial as well is to have equipment like i said just a bit before you can have more equipment but what is really important is to be efficient with it so you have to know what to do when to do it you have to be able to do it technically the the the, the to to the to do the um, uh, the technical gesture and then you have the right equipment and to do that you have to uh, uh, um, you have to train as well there is no point uh, to my eyes to carry uh, uh, equipment that do, you don't know how to use it right so that's know how to use it efficiency then exactly right. train and then train and train and have the right equipment for the right place All right thank you very much for this patrice um just to wrap it up and tighten it to answer um joshua's question what would be the top five items that you would recommend to have on you at all times or with you on all at all times in a disrupted environment? Well, I would, I would first for sure have uh, some knowledge and some aide mémoire to be sure to remind me uh, what I have to do. Even uh, if, I have, uh, if I'm under stress, I just pull out my aide mémoire to be sure that I'm not going to forget anything in my protocol. Then I would have something to protect myself, gloves. Uh, uh, late, late, um, nitro gloves okay. something to stop the massive bleeding a tourniquet and st that's so. three things so we have as well uh, something to pack a wound hemostatic or no hemostatic doesn't really matter okay. uh, whatever mm. your, your preference is and a space blanket for sure that's, that's the minimum I would uh, take with me great, thank you very much keep sending your questions we will definitely have a look at them we'll pick one of them again and uh, give you an answer on it and remember to go into the comment section. We will have a description on Solution Trauma's equipment, all of the bespoke uh, uh, gear they do. You'll be able to find all the information in there. Again, thank you very much. My pleasure. Everybody else, hope to see you in the coming weeks again for another video. Stay safe.